Greetings, South Georgia Fig family. In today's video, we're gonna be bringing you guys along with us as we pot several of the fig cuttings that we've been rooting in shallow containers of water in our high tonal greenhouse for approximately the last 30 to 45 days. Most of you guys have been following us uh, for this video series. Remember that we started this uh, row experiment with about a total of about 20 cuttings, I think, maybe um, even 25 cuttings. What you see here in this container it's all that we have left. We lost so many cuttings during this propagation experiment of other varieties of fig trees. However, all of our Toro fig tree cuttings have survived this grow experiment so far. And today we have two to three of these cuttings that we're gonna be um, potting into small containers today. I'm gonna um, pull those two to three cuttings out of this container right now and show you why Indeed, we will be potting up those cuttings today during today's video. Again, it's the Toro variety of fig. I'm going to pull out our first cutting. We've actually lost roots from this cutting. That's a shame. We're actually going to pot this guy up today. We lost one of the uh, roots from this cutting somehow. Let's see what else we got in here that we can pot up today. I'm going to pull that one out. What we got here. We will green thumb garden the family be potting this baby up today. She has a substantial root system, about four inches of roots going on right there. It's a nice cutting, so we will be potting her up today. May I go ahead and pot up that other guy that lost that root, that one root too, because it still has a pretty substantial grow root system growing on on it. But we will also pot up this guy here too. This has about six to seven, um, one inch to inch and a half uh, roots on this one. We'll go ahead and pot this one up today. And those other two that we showed you earlier. What you see in this wheelbarrow is the grow medium that we're going to be using to pot up these fig tree cuttings with. It's approximately 25% sand, it is 25% potting soil, and it's 50% peat moss. So this is a little richer than what we typically plant our fig cuttings in. However, we're short on sand today and this uh, grow medium should work just as well we're gonna be using containers of this size these little small um four inch containers to put up these fig cuttings temporarily here we'll end up probably up potting these fig cuttings within the next 30 to 45 days to one gallon container in fact we're gonna go ahead and get these fig cuttings potted up and we'll bring you guys back at the end of this video and show you what they look like in their new container in fact all right, South Georgia Fig family, we are back in this South Georgia Fig family. This is what our four Toro fig trees are looking like potted in their new containers. Take a look at this. Bam! Don't they look fantastic in their new four inch containers here? We just removed them from this little wicking tray down here. We sat them after we potted those um, fig cuttings up, allowed them to wick up soil from the bottom as opposed to the top and as you can see that soil is good and moist in all of our containers. Our next step is to sit these fig tree cuttings in a semi-shaded area for about a week. We'll bring you guys back for an update on these fig tree cuttings in about seven days. Thanks for watching.